Well, it's been a back and forth kind of regime over the last several weeks with milder, colder, snow, snow melt, return to snow. And um, this was the scene yesterday morning on the A9 heading northbound all the way from France up through uh, England and um, really even kind of heading up through the M6 under the M74 we had snow but it really got nasty uh, north of the central belt and um, you know snow packed road uh, wind blowing pretty strong and the heavy snowfall created near whiteout condition very difficult to see uh, driving so uh, it was pretty nasty indeed and even yesterday afternoon i happened to be driving back south to, to glasgow again and um, the conditions weren't overly pretty especially in the the region kind of around dalwini and uh, the Dromocter summit i'm sure plenty of people watching this video know where i'm talking about C certainly snow-packed roads heavy snow blowing and drifting and uh, but you know conditions today you know sunshine no snow in the road totally different story altogether now as we head through the weekend it looks as if high pressure is going to kind of remain in control we're going to see a frontal system kind of uh, move through that will um, bring increased cloud rain breeze uh, during the course of tomorrow you can see here that high pressure over the, the european continent kind of keeping that frontal system to the west of the uk so it's never going to really uh, move eastwards so it looks as if we're going to maintain this fairly dry theme how often in recent times have we seen high pressure stopping the Atlantic from moving uh, west to east here. But we've got that at the moment here. Area of low pressure out over the Atlantic, as you can see here. So that frontal system kind of fades away as it moves eastwards. Then it's all eyes on this system here. Now that had the potential to become the next named storm of the season here. That would be storm six, maybe even uh, number seven of the season. So, of course, it's been a very busy uh, winter so far with regards to named storms that system looks as if it's going to be deflected up towards iceland we've got strong enough area of high pressure over the continent to kind of stop that system from uh, moving eastwards enough to bring severe gales heavy rain mountain snow you know the, the script anyway but that system looks as if it's going to be pushing northwards here then as we go forward the associated frontal system with that does move through we do see an increase in breeze, rain, and hill snow as well, colder air on the backside. But the big story is going to be the high pressure that uh, builds in behind that frontal system. And we are going to see conditions settling down. High pressure looks as if it's going to be the mainstay as we go forward. Thursday, the 3rd of March, of course, the end of the work week, we've got a frontal system associated with low pressure up towards Iceland and Greenland. That will move through, but uh, the overall idea is drier, brighter. We're going to see, uh, you know, kind of bright days, uh, cold nights. Um, uh, you know, that is going to be the re the regime as we go forward here. So a very different weather pattern, la uh, you know, last week versus this week, and um, looks like we are going to see some reprieve from the stormy conditions as we go through the next week or so. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back either tomorrow, if not on Sunday with more. Bye for now.